Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and I recently just did the SNS Training Solutions uh, One Day Night Fighter class. And these two bags are what I brought for that class. So I really haven't unpacked much yet. Uh, I have unpacked a couple things, which I will try to mention as we go through here. But really, I just want to make this video to say, hey, this is the gear that I brought. Uh, this is what was successful, what was not successful. You know, a little gear AAR review here as far as what, what was helpful, what would I bring again if I were to do it again, what would I just leave home? Uh, because I'm always trying to bring uh, as little stuff as possible and only the stuff that I need. So I was fortunately able to condense everything into two bags. Um, maybe next time I can get it up to one bag, who knows? So let's start with the blue bag here, which is kind of my semi-supplements bag, and uh, we'll go through that, through that first, okay? So, uh, first thing is uh, I have some PPE in here. I have some knee pads. These totally died on me uh, and uh, I need a new set of knee pads. All right, next in here I have my rat's boots. Um, I ended up wearing Costco socks uh, the whole time with them. That actually went pretty well. I have a video on the rat's boots. Big fan of the rat's boots. Very, very helpful, very successful. Uh, canteen, obviously. Uh, this in here, this was my food bag. Uh, so I just put all my food in here. You do get a break for lunch and dinner during the day <clears throat> to go into town and get some food or whatever. I did not do that. I just packed my own food. Uh, we ended up getting in the night before uh, and we stayed in there. The, they had a military tent. I'll talk about that when I get the sleep kit. Uh, and then we ended up staying the second night uh, after we were done because the class ends about midnight. Uh, and then we got out of there early Sunday morning. So this was my food bag and I just put a bunch of meats and cheeses and a loaf of bread and some other snacks in here. I do have a MSR stove in here that I use to heat some tea. Um, that's what I have this Pathfinder cup thing for. Uh, so I use that to, to heat up some tea. But by and large, that's, that's what I did for food. I, I tried to, again, contain my food there. Um, this is just some en general other PPE stuff. Uh, so these are my gaiters, which I did not use, didn't use my gaiters at all. And uh, some insert, elbow pad inserts for my true spec uh, uniform top, which I did, not, I did not use. I don't have any of my clothes in here because they all went in the wash, but I brought a woodland top um, and just a coyote brown pant bottom. Um, and that's just, that's just what I wore all day for class. Again, it's just a one day class, right? This towel I had in here cause I had my AR wrapped up. I've already put that away. I did bring my own rifle. Um, I will not be doing that again. I'll talk about that when I get to rifle, uh, kit setup. Some, this is a t-shirt that I didn't end up needing. A couple pairs of gloves are in here. Um, this is my pocket kit, uh, is what I call it, I guess, but it's just all the other little essentials that I tend to keep in my pocket, right? So red headlamp, for example, uh, that's, you know, important, um, especially when you're doing night stuff. Uh, notepad and arm board, this was actually super helpful. I ended up being the PL for this uh, class day, so uh, we had to do a little mission and I needed to make notes on my map, so I just put this arm board on and then, you know, the arm board goes like, you know, right on your arm, so uh, that was helpful. Um, some chem lights, some smoke, which I didn't end up using another set of gloves, a lighter. So just, again, just kind of general pocket stuff. Uh, most of that I used, or at least had on me uh, during, the, during the time. I do have a second sleeping mat in here. Didn't end up using that. That was actually, I brought that for a buddy. Didn't need that. And that's, that's pretty much it uh, for, for this bag here. Okay, so for this bag, this kind of served as my main bag for the trip. Um, toilet cheese bag, toothbrush, deodorant, um, that's really it. Maybe some hand sanitizer, but pretty, pretty slim down, uh, toilet cheese bag there. Uh, fanny pack, <laughs> this is my tactical fanny pack. Uh, this I wore to supplement my chest rig, um, which was primarily what I, what I ran down there. But like water purification, orange signal flare, some chapstick. Uh, some just trying to jump some tape, a permanent marker, some lens wipes, right? Just general kind of stuff, some band-aids of things that, that you may or may not need. And uh, I just wore this pretty much all day when I had my chest rig on. Uh, that, was, that was helpful to, to have. Sleep kit. So this is a Thermarest Neo Air 
sleep, uh, sleeping mat. You gotta blow it up. Uh, takes a little bit to blow up, a couple minutes, uh, but super comfortable. Um, so there was like a, they had a big military style tent there that they just put right on top of the ground and they had some cots out. I ended up not sleeping on the cot. I just slept on the ground using this mat. I suck at field sleeping in general. I just, I don't know, it's really hard for me to fall asleep. But this mat is super comfortable, would recommend. It does actually fold up nicely to fit in this bag. I'm gonna have to re refold it. As you can see, I didn't do that. This is a Trek, Trekology a looped pillow. I'll put uh, Amazon links to these in the, the description here. But this was also helpful, comfortable. Um, those two together, you know, as you can see, I've tied them together. Um, or maybe you can't see that, I've tied them together. I really like that. I really, really like this because if I have to ruck it, it, it folds down pretty small. Like I said, you can get it to fold in here, right? Um, so I just need to refold that. But I really, really like that as a uh, sleep kit option. This is the Recon 3 sleeping bag. Uh, I've had this for a couple years. I'm just looking for the tag here. Um, had this for a couple years, really like it, would recommend it. Um, this was comfortable. This says it's good down, here it is, Recon 3. Uh, this says it's good down to 23 degrees. Um, that's probably questionable. You're probably looking more like 33, 30 degrees, something like that. Uh, and that's with like, I usually wear Equix uh, second layer as my pajamas and then I put a hat on and some wool socks on and then I'll crawl into here. That's usually kind of my, my sleep thing. And it got down to like 40-ish uh, degrees, I'd say both nights around there. Um, and I was, I was pretty comfortable. I, I used this uh, on top of my mattress and then this is a snug pack jungle blanket and then I just tossed this over the sleeping bag. One of the nights I got too warm with this over so I didn't, I didn't actually need it. But uh, I was pretty, pretty comfortable uh, between all those. I think eventually I'll get the Recon 5 bag which is like their winter bag for winter stuff. Um, but like I said, I, I like this sleeping bag. I will use it again. Um, I only have nice things to say about it. Apparently there's an internal Velcro pocket here which I didn't, I don't think I knew that that, that happened. Um, Ha fan of the fan of the sleeping bag would use it again. You know you need a you need a sleeping bag. Uh, yeah, that's that. And then my bivy bag. Here it is. And this is my bivy bag. This is just an old uh, Millsurp uh, woodland bivy bag. I ended up taking my sleep mattress, putting it inside the bivy bag, set that on the ground, and then just slept on top of the bivy bag. So that ended up working out for me. This is my DPM smock. I ended up not using this at all. Uh, could have left that home or just brought this and not my woodland shirt. This is uh, my bump helmet. This is a cheapy Amazon bump helmet. Um, I actually have problems with this. I put the halo on here, which you need for the miles gear. And I thought the weight was gonna be okay, but then when I had the, the night vision down, it wasn't, oh sorry, then when I had the night vision down, it wasn't aligning correctly to my eye. Um, and so I actually struggled and I ended up not using my night vision most of the night um, because it was, a, it was a real struggle with this helmet. So I'll either bring a ballistic helmet next time or buy a Primo um, bump helmet like a Team Wendy or something or I'll have to mess with this a little bit to see if I can, I can get it to work. But that was actually a struggle. Uh, face paint in here, didn't use that at all. Uh, this is the uh, packing bag for the uh, blanket, the jungle blanket from Snug Pack. Good blanket, would recommend that. Uh, T-shirt in here that apparently I didn't use. Some multicam gloves. I like the Fast Fit Mechanics gloves. I'm a fan of those. This is my Yote Pack. Big fan of the Yote Pack. Talked about it before. Have a video on the channel about it. Uh, didn't use this at all, actually. So most of the lanes were just um, pretty short, you know. At most, I was away from base for a couple hours. And uh, I'll get to it, but I just ran my chest rig. That, that was easier. So uh, even at night when I went out, I just took my night vision out, uh, mounted it on my helmet, and went. Um, so I didn't run a ruck at all, and uh, that was nice. I, I like that. I like not running a ruck. Some people will say, hey, you need to train like you fight, and I get that. That's a valid point. How I'm going to fight is carrying as little stuff as I need for that mission as possible. So if I can get away without carrying a ruck, you better believe I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. So. 
Uh, if I went again, I wouldn't. I wouldn't bring this. Honestly, I would just. I would just leave it, um, and uh, wouldn't. Wouldn't take it with. Um, this. This is my. Let's make sure you can see that here. This is my little weapons kit uh, that I ended up using. So I ended up stripping all the stuff off my rifle and putting it on one of their rifles. And honestly, going forward, that's what I would tell you to do. So I have a little foregrip thing in here. This is a Strike Industries one that does a little bipody thing. Um, that's nice, it attaches right to Picatinny. This is a Streamlight. Um, again, attaches direct to Picatinny, so that's nice. Um, this is my D-Ball D2 that I just pulled off my gun. I need to put back on my gun. And uh, this is an Aimpoint uh, Pro. So put the Aimpoint Pro on, zero the dot based off the irons, then toss the laser on, zero the laser to your dot. Uh, pretty simple, worked, worked pretty well. Uh, so this is kind of what I would do going forward as far as how I'm gonna prepare to use one of their guns. Uh, I would just bring a sling uh, and then toss that on as well and have a little, little weapons prep kit. And then once I get my rifle, I would just um, throw all my fun toys on there. That, that seems to be the best way to do it. I brought my rifle. I just had problems with it. It wasn't cycling correctly. And, uh, you know, you have blanks and maybe I have a different buffer weight or a different spring, a buffer spring or, you know, just whatever. And it just wasn't worth the hassle. And so I ended up just, just using one of their rifles, which again, going forward, I think is probably what I would just do. Uh, chest rig then, of course, I brought the Spectre chest rig. This actually worked super well. I'll probably do a second video on this, but this was my minimalist loadout basically. So I just had a water bottle, uh, my blade, my IFAC here on the bottom and this uh, dangler from Feral Concepts. And then uh, this, I carried my thermal over in this pocket. Now I gotta say, I did a lot of uh, low crawling, you know, where you're dragging yourself across the earth. And the GP pouch, uh, GP protection insert here that I have for this, which you should get one of those if you own a Spectre because it's good, uh, protected my thermal just fine. So, you know, here is, there you go. You can see it. There's my thermal. Uh, and the GP protection insert did a great job protecting that thing from all kinds of low crawling that we did. Um, so I would, uh, I would recommend that. You should really own one of those. And that, that's really it. This is what I ran. I do have my radio on here, but I didn't use that at all. One of my other buddies brought his radio, but he never put it in this kit. So... We never really, really used that, um, but that was that was highly successful. I, I really like the chest rig that I designed, if I can say that. So that's basically it. Those those are all the major things that I brought. You know, sleep kit takes up the most room, and so when you're going to events like this, that's really uh, just a big portion of your bag, right? Is is sleep kit. So bring sleep kit. You know, and uh, I would recommend you bring a pack, even though I didn't use mine, I probably wouldn't bring it again, but I had to kind of learn that lesson. A lot of guys ran their packs, I didn't. You do, do you. So that's basically it. Uh, sleep kit really is the most, the majority of the stuff you gotta bring as far as size goes, right, in bulk. Like it just, it just takes up a lot of room. Uh, if I were to go back again, I would probably leave my pack. I'd probably tell you to bring your pack if it's the first time you're going, just so you can make a better determination about that. But I would leave my pack, I'd run my chest rig, I'd probably wear my ballistic helmet or get a better bump helmet. Uh, and that's, that's really it. It's a pretty um, simple class gear-wise. You really don't need much. I think the most magazines I ever got issued for any particular lane uh, was four. So, you know, I didn't even, you know, I, ha I can take six on the rig plus one on the gun, right? But I didn't even really need all that. So that is what I ran. I hope that's helpful to you as you think about, you know, possibly going to the night fighter course with SNS training solutions. Would recommend that to you. Uh, if not, any other kind of overnight uh, class that you're going to go to, I hope this kind of gives you some ideas and helps you out. That is it. That's all that I brought. That's what I would change. Do brave deeds and endure.